Well, this is a title that's been held by some of Britain's greatest ever heavyweights. Both men are talking about knocking. Big, big punches. And that's the one out. Wardley in the white trimmed with blue. And neither of them have ever been past six. The Adelaide body. It's the first time that the British concentrate in the early stages. And then bring that right on through. So working with the, your jab, establish the distance and space. And completely ready for tonight. We will find out now, Richie. Rumours about damage to the chin, lack of sparring. Like that, when you miss the target with big shots, that can tie you out. Distance right, and also to, to judge the pace right the jab and getting into a contest. And it's going to be really important for both. Down into the body. He's been the fighter coming forward more often than that. It's going to be very interesting to see who can judge it best. First round. And all of the crowd here know that, that both of them possess. There's a great shot from up on the jab. Decent body shot. It was a good shot. Very entry, not always double dose. Very up the entry, that's right. He's boxing well. He has that long looping. He's got more experience. He learned to box to protect himself. At some stage where the Wardley speed could be a factor. He's always the British heavyweight champion. You wonder, one with the amateur career to lean on Wardley. When no, that left hook missing the target. He's got to set it up a little bit better. No, he's got to settle down a little bit and set up these power shots. That if they lose concentration for a second, it could be over. Concentration and then Adelaide comes through with a super speed of punch from Adelaide. He's, he's very good. Over Wardley, and again a good shot there. So, but he's got that. He's got that speed of punch. Inch his way forward and, and work with the, your front foot. Then that that could be a problem for Wardley. Throws with with speed and power, and by edging. Just at Lance here, cheered for the Raptors by the crowd here in Rio. Inside the final 30 seconds, then of the second second round. He's done right now. He's done right now. Judge the distance and got very well against Nathan Gorman. The only time he went the distance was in his Richie because we haven't really seen it. It's how either of them react with shot from Wardley. That right hand. First time he's warned it for that, Richie. Not the first time he's warned it with in 2021. A fight that a lot of people felt he was in. Adelaide was taken the distance by Camille Sock. Body shots from the Adelaide, just as Fabio Wardley was thinking about opening up. Well, from the outside, some good stuff coming from him. They have to judge the, the distance here, the pace of the... But that can drain you. It really can. Well, you miss the target with those heavy shots, then... Just stop throwing the jab as much, hasn't he, Adelaide? Adelaide, we're from Ben Davis, and then Robert Hodges tends to do the talking. Gets his... Head and body out of the way, come with that with the jab, you know, he's edging forward, measure ferocious puncher. Final. A bit angry there with the way I don't see them both with the records they've got. British title outside London as a professional. A, a youngster, David Adelaide's got a degree as for Fabio Wardley, who spent time in their academy. But you're always looking for Adelaide to produce that, that power shot of his. He's too far out. More work with his left hand. To rounds. They were saying, look, you've got Wardley's timing, but you're just not. Wardley's just edging it occasionally over his front foot. But this is it of the fourth round, and Wardley's been the one coming forward. The attack for Wardley. Adelaide looks. Probably from landing flush on the target. There it was. For a second, it looked like all Wardley in that exchange. David, listen to me. Next, and then who knows? So he's very dangerous at Adelaide, in Fletch. So the longer this goes, the more the territory for both of them. So the fifth round scheduled for 12. Short to mid. And Adelaide is the day more success when it's boxed mid to long range. That's a little Taz. It's a, it's a contest where you've got to... ...to work from him. Wardley calls him in yeah. from the champion as well. Adelaide's been close now a couple of times. He's coming from the champion and the greater volume of work is coming. Find a way. The better work at this... Adelaide has to get significantly closer at the moment. A single shot there. Wardley, he coped with... Adelaide looking to unload the Wardley. Adelaide calls out the power to finish in a 
if it does to get him out of range, and he's been successful at doing that so far. Richie relies yeah. on the reflexes, happy to hold his wrist there by taking Adelaide on control of it more. There he took Adelaide on. Yeah, because I think that oh, that was better. Can there and David Adelaide made him pay. Yeah, he said he isn't happy, is he? Corner between rounds. There's a bit of concern in there, I think, Richie, at the moment. Ram again, I suspect. Yeah. But John Latham's laid down the law. Six round schedule. Can't afford to, to, to take a rest on the inside. Not on the inside. Got decent power. That. Oh, you can see what he's doing. Halfway through the sixth round. To strike, and then he's making him miss and come back with a shot. Here it was a good scoring punch that from Wardley. Follows it up. But this is where Adelaide can be very dangerous indeed. From Wardley here. And he sticks out the top. Good shot by Wardley. Good bronze medalist from uh, 2020. Formative. Well, that last round of. Could <laughs> behind that left jab. <laughs> we get from Adelaide because we need one second round but since then that jab of Wardley's become the control of the fight behind this jab it was Adelaide's jab in the early measure that distance with your lead hand and a good boxing performance up to now he's been a bit lazy with his jab as they... well, the thing is Fletcher as well they're not soft and so you know he's slowly breaking him down his target and if Adelaide occasionally comes over his front foot the powers to the seventh here with just over a minute to go and David Adelaide mood off shows a top over yet yeah. Adelaide's still very dangerous thing This is the official time, 2 minutes 43 seconds of round number 7. Our referee in charge, John Latham, stops the contest. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, and now the British WBO European, WBA Continental, and Commonwealth Heavyweight Champion, Fabio Wardley.